Squid Game. It's the impoverished contestants risking their lives who wear the green tracksuits. Where 456 players in deep financial debt put their lives at risk to play a series of children's games. For the chance to win a 45.6 billion won prize. The title of the series draws from a similarly named Korean children's game. Netflix's latest runaway success has set new records for views and generated a flurry of comment pieces, memes and moral panic about screen violence. Netflix estimates that its latest mega-hit, Squid Game, will create almost $900 million in value for the company, according to figures seen by Bloomberg, underscoring the windfall that one mega-hit can generate in the streaming. The show cost just $21.4 million to produce, about $2.4 million an episode. Those figures are just for the first season, and stem from a document that details Netflix's performance metrics for the show. So you just finished watching the global sensation that has become the most watched show on Netflix. Or maybe you're binge watching it now. The people playing the games are destitute and laden with debt. Some are suffering from gambling addictions. Others are caught up in gang violence and some face the threat of deportation. This desperation drives them to risk their lives to win the fortune dangling over their heads. The players soon discover that losing a game results in their death, with each death adding 100 million to the potential 45.6 billion grand prize. The trio is treated with a lavish steak dinner at night before their last game. It is revealed that Sei Byuk is badly wounded and bleeding profusely due to an injury she sustained in the previous game. At the end of the meal, all three are left with a knife at the table, a ploy to ensure the three kill the weakest among them before the last round. G.I. Han, knowing well that Sang Wu would go to any length to emerge a winner, tries to kill him in his sleep, but Se Byuk reminds him that he isn't a murderer. G.I. Han suggests that they team up against Sang Wu. But she takes his promise to mean that between them, whoever wins will look after the other person's family. On the other hand, cop Wong Jun Ho, who's on the run, comes face to face with the front man who reveals himself to be his brother, Wong In Ho, who he was looking for all this while at the gaming camp. In Ho shoots Jun Ho who falls of the cliff into the sea. Mourning Sei Byuk's death. Ji Hun goes to the final arena to play against Sang Wu, the eponymous Squid Game.